When a user complains about a poor quality call that happened 20 minutes ago, you want to be able to find the specific fault and cause quickly. In order to do this, you need to be able to analyze the health, performance, and configuration of every link, switch, and router used to pass traffic between the two endpoints and see what they were doing at the time of the call. You also don't want to be inundated with lots of information that requires expert level interpretation. You want plain English answers. This is what Path Solutions Total View does. It continuously collects error counters, QoS queuing performance, and configuration information from all links, switches, routers, and gateways in the infrastructure. It collects the routing tables, bridge tables, ARP cache, and spanning tree information to generate a layer 1, layer 2, and layer 3 path map showing every link, switch, and router used to connect any two devices across the network. You get a history of everything, so it's easy to see what happened on the network when an event occurred. So, let's say a user had a call quality problem occur two hours ago between their phone and the VoIP gateway. The clock is ticking. Enter the IP addresses of the two devices and the system will generate a path through the network. The first phone is connected to Fast Ethernet 015 on the Pino switch. That interface looked perfectly healthy two hours ago, so we can confidently say that that's not causing the problem. How do we know it's perfectly healthy? 18 different error counters and performance information are checked to make sure that no packets were lost or buffered on this interface at any point in time. The traffic goes out the Pino switch through Fast Ethernet 07, and it also looks perfectly healthy. Inbound and outbound on the Denver router looks healthy as well. Whoa! The New York router's outbound interface is showing sporadic packet loss throughout the day, and a spike of packet loss just two hours ago. That's suspicious. If we click into the interface, we can see the interface details along with the plain English prescriptions of the problem. And now that we know what's happening and where, it's easy to resolve the problem. But the trick is, that might not be the only problem that we have. The Bordeaux switch looks like it had another 1% packet loss at the exact same time. That interface is running half duplex, so it's a quick and easy fix to implement. Let's look at the Atlanta MPLS router. It looks like the outbound interface has two QoS queues configured, a VoIP queue and a default queue. The problem is that the VoIP queue has no traffic at all, so all the VoIP tag traffic is dropping into the default queue. That's bad. Let's find out why. When we look at the interface, we see the queues as well as the queue match conditions. Oops, it looks like it's configured to match DSCP EE traffic. It should be configured to match EF traffic. So in just a few minutes, we've identified three specific faults that led to the call quality problem. Remember that ticking clock? Instead of spending hours or days troubleshooting why this particular problem occurred, TotalView tells you what happened and how to fix it in a matter of minutes. Problem solved and your user is now happily making crystal clear calls. VoIP troubleshooting is hard. TotalView makes it easy.